Sandy here from dreamworks.co.uk and in a previous video I showed you how to do this. I took this image with these two here and I put them into this image here and something I pointed out that made it look a little unrealistic and kind of gave it away is the fact that there's shadows on the ground here where they're standing and behind them um, whereas with these two here there is no shadow and that makes it somewhat unrealistic because obviously there has to be a shadow but there isn't any so I'm just going to show you how to create a shadow <coughs> that looks fairly realistic just to increase the realism on this photo okay so I'm just going to click on this layer here, the layer that has uh, these two right here on I'm going to press Ctrl J, Command J on a Mac to duplicate the layer so we'll now have two of them, okay? and now I'm going to press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac and I'm just going to turn this like so and we really need to work out where the sun is on this picture and I think that it's perhaps uh, behind them going in this direction so I'm actually just going to pull this down and so it's roughly at their feet here and I'm just going to change this so that it's about uh, right for the sun I'm just going to drop this down here play around with this until it's right position I'm just going to hit enter okay and next I'm just going to um, control click or command click on a Mac on this here to select this I'm going to press D to reset my colors to black and white then I'm going to press alt and backspace and that will just fill this with a black color like so Next, I am just going to take my polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to. Actually, one more thing before we do this. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform. In fact, no, let's do this. We're going to take our polygonal lasso tool and we're just going to cut through some of it. Just to cut out the legs here because we really don't need them because they're not going to be part of the shadow. So hit Delete and we'll just cut this out and from there we're going to take this we're going to drop it behind it and then we're just going to play around with this until it looks like it's in place okay and then we're going to go to my edit transform and warp and from there we're going to actually flatten this out so that it looks like it's actually on the ground okay and distort it a little so that it looks more like a shadow because obviously when you have a shadow it is slightly distorted and it isn't exactly the s like the same size as you and whatnot so we're just going to play around with this until it so that it looks like it's on the floor okay and I'm just going to drag this behind here like so and we're just going to play with it and hit enter so now we'll have the shadow behind them except right now obviously that really doesn't look like a shadow at all because this just looks it just looks like a solid black color so we are going to go to our opacity here and we're going to drop that down to about 20% and as you can see now it's a lot more subtle and if you can want you can even drop that down to let's say 15% or even 10% okay so there is a shadow there but it's very subtle and then you can take your brush tool and select a very uh, a soft brush and uh, don't make it too big and then you can just draw around the feet as well just so that we have a shadow you might want to uh, create a new layer here and increase the opacity of this one to 20% and then draw around the feet because the shadows are going to be stronger around the feet where they're on the grass. Okay, so now I'm just going to zoom out. And as you can see, this now looks a lot more realistic because we have a shadow behind them. So, where is this? Alright, I'm just going to drop that down. Alright, so this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. It now has a shadow there, so it looks more realistic and it looks a lot more like they're actually standing in front of a Statue of Liberty. Okay, so. <coughs> That's it for this tutorial. I just want to make it a quick one. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed my videos, of course, subscribe. Check out my site at dreamworks.co.uk and have a nice day.